It's as if Kayla Nolan's own brother is hearing his fate. The 19-year-old has been in court to support Oscar Pistorius nearly every day. This is my wall of remembrance to him, which I've been collecting throughout the, the trial and we're working through it. So, yeah, <laughs> that was my mom on the first day over there. One of her favorite memories, a hug from her hero. Well, I'm disabled as well, so not the same disability as him, but I can relate to the way he, to the way he um, reacts to things and how he basically lives his daily life with my favorite quote from him was, you are not disabled by your disabilities, you are able by the abilities you have. I thought you were Security guards know her by name. This is the day everyone has been waiting for, Oscar Pistorius' verdict. Of course, there's only a limited amount of seats in courtroom GD, so media must be accredited. But for the public, like Kayla, it's a first come, first serve basis. They're going to open the doors now, so I'll be inside court soon. I'll see you guys a little later today. Kayla, you recently just spoke to Oscar Pistorius in court. What did he say to you? He asked me whether I was okay and he, he thanked me once again for my unwavering support and for my prayer group who has been praying for him the past six months. He asked you if he's okay, if you're okay, but is he okay? No, he's not okay. You can clearly see by the body language, by just the look in his eyes. He's tired, he wants this to be over now, pretty much like me. <laughs> I want this to be over now so that he can just continue with his life as was and so that he can find peace and closure. It was a very emotional day to, today and I can think tomorrow is going to be 10 times as emotional. But I'll be here, I'll be backing him all the way. As the verdict continues into Friday, it's likely not just to be a sleepless night for Oscar Pistorius, but those that are championing his innocence. Yusuf Omar, Pretoria.